Uh, I'm Mumida Binoy, I'm a filmmaker and a visual artist. Uh, and I work with multiple other mediums as well. And uh, I mostly uh, like to and decide to work with visuals because it feels like very close to me, regardless if it's a film, if it's a, just an image. Um, yeah. The moment or the time period when I was thinking about this this work and this title, it was the times were very fragile, to be really honest, because it was COVID and everything was sort of all of us it was like feels like it was everything was collapsing, it was very melancholic and sort of distant. At the same time, um, I felt like it was after a certain point it was actually people who are actually who are fragile are the ones who are surviving, who are storytellers who are actually sympathetic about the other and trying to make amends with your past, sort of deal with what's exactly going on. So that sort of vulnerability and being fragile was really close to me. Um, and that's why I um, came up with the title Survival of the Fragile. I think even with, with the local current situation it makes more, more sense right now because it's things are way more sort of worse than before and still people are actually fragile and like I said vulnerable and sort of like kind and sort of like willing to understand who the other person is are actually ones who are actually saving and being being part of the survival. The scenario I would like to share is like the absolute calmness and space that I got because of COVID in a very positive way because I took uh, personally I'm not like a very uh, sort of crowd handling person I'm, I like to stay quiet and like stay reserved and that served me so much I was like actually walking by myself and just like literally it, it can be melancholic sometimes but that was like a good melancholic it was like gave me so much space and I really miss it right now because it's too noisy.